Meanwhile, we have had several people contact us about stations being out of gas or long lines at pumps around the Gulf Coast. Nicolette Schleisman is live at the Sam's Club gas station near Airport and 65. And Nicolette, tell us, are you seeing some long lines there? Yeah, Devin, we are, and this is basically what we've been seeing all day long. There's been a long line, but it's been fairly quick. Now, you, if you know, are familiar with this area, you know that there's a gas station just around the corner from where we are right now, and there's no line at that gas, gas station. And people we spoke with earlier said that they came to the Sam's Club because this is the cheapest price that they've seen for gas. No, I haven't seen a shortage anywhere. Cars lined up around the Sam's Club gas station this afternoon waiting to fill up. Just another 10 gallons to give to my daughter. This is my third time coming up. Many said they had seen lines at other gas stations in Mobile. And that's everywhere I've been. Really? How many yeah. gas stations have you been to? Uh, about five. From Schillinger down here. There's just lines all around. This is many blame the rush on gas stations on the attack on the Colonial Pipeline, which is the nation's largest. It was the victim of a ransomware attack, causing it to shut down. That line pumps millions of gallons of gas per day, running from Texas through Alabama to New Jersey. According to the Petroleum and Convenience Marketers of Alabama, some of our gas along the Gulf Coast does come from that pipeline, but we do have other outlets to get gas from. At this point, there is no problem in terms of refineries being able to produce gasoline and diesel fuel. That hasn't been impacted by this at all. The only problem is the distribution of the refined gasoline. Many we spoke with say they haven't seen a shortage on gas in Mobile, but are gassing up now just in case. I don't think that a gas shortage, but I don't want to be caught in the, the cold without gas. I think it's all just a panic again. Our government's good at doing that. Experts are urging people to not rush out and buy gas. Please don't panic. Continue your normal buying habits. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey issued a statement saying that there is currently no shortage of gas in Alabama, and she is encouraging people to only fill up when you have to and don't fill up any extra containers. Reporting live off I-65, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.